Okay. After this, wait. Oh, the this is why I can hear Miss Oti voice, so I forgot to turn up my volume. Wait, yeah, Miss Oti. Okay, guys. Uh, okay, I will ask you whether the volume is already clear or not. Yeah, do I need to turn up or turn down the volume? Yeah, wait, yeah. Test four. You will hear a number of different recordings and you will have to answer questions on what you hear. Is it clear enough or do I need to turn up the volume, guys? No, it is clear enough, Miss. Clear, yeah, okay. Thank you so much, wait. I'm also going to admit some participants first, yeah? Wait, okay. 249, Okay. So I will share some presentation slides with you, yeah? Wait. Can you see it, guys? Yeah, okay. I see it. Thank you so much, Mr. Bobby, yeah, for letting me know. So is it clear enough, or do I need to make the presentation slides bigger, guys? It's clear, Miss. OK, thank you so much, Miss Oti, yeah? So I'm uh, sure that you have already taken a look at the presentation slides that I shared yeah, in the Telegram group. This is some brief introduction to the IELTS listening task. And you will also, uh, what is it, uh, know about some parts in the uh, task, yeah? And um, well, uh, for question types, uh, we, we have almost a ton type uh, of tasks, yeah? In, the IELTS listening tasks. And usually uh, we will have one and three tasks yeah, per section. For example, in uh, part two yeah, or uh, the second section, we might have a multiple choice and then a matching, for example, like that. So sometimes we will have some combination of types of questions yeah, in our listening tasks. And uh, I'm just uh, going to, what is it, like discuss briefly, yeah, because we only have one hour, yeah, to discuss our assignment. So here are some practical, practical tips, yeah, with regards to IELTS listening to us. Okay, so the first one, uh, I'm sure that you have already, uh, what is it, taken a mocking exam, yeah, in the IELTS listening to us. If you haven't, please give it a try. Because uh, that way, uh, you will understand that uh, before doing the task, usually the narrator yeah, will give you some time to read the questions. And please uh, make good, take good use of the time given to you. Yeah? Usually, you will be given half of a minute, half, uh, half a minute yeah, to read the uh, questions. And before, uh, before reading the questions, you also need to make sure to uh, understand the instruction yeah understand and also follow the instruction for each part of the task for example if you find uh, the instruction about one word only and you instead of wording i mean instead of uh, writing down one word you use two words for example by uh, adding an adjective uh, well actually your answer will be marked wrong yeah because you are not following the instruction that's why you need to pay close attention to the instruction yeah, for each part of the task. And yes, as I previously mentioned, you need to uh, study, study the questions yeah, or read the question within half a minute. Yeah? Uh, sometimes you will be uh, given some, uh, what is it, like uh, instruction about the duration given to you to read the question first. And please make sure to read all the question. Yeah? For example, you have some time to look at question uh, 11 until 16, for example, like that, please make sure to scan, yeah? scan the question with as fast as possible. And after read the question, if you still have some time, if possible, please also take a look at the options, yeah, guys, yeah? the option, yang A, B, C, D, A, B, C, we need to pick, uh, we need to read uh, the available, available options as well, yeah? because that way you will uh, know uh, how to identify the information that you need to uh, figure out ya yeah, within the uh, audio files. Jadi memang kita harus melihat dulu jawabannya ya, jawabannya harus kita baca juga karena dari situ kita jadi tahu oh uh, these are uh, the alternatives uh, or the uh, what is it like the options that I need to uh, decide ya yeah, after listening 
uh, to the audio files. And then, yes, Mr. Mr. Roy? Do you, have, do you have any question, Mr. Roy? Huh? Saya juga nggak kerja. Oh, sorry, Mr. Roy, could you please mute your voice? Okay, thank you, yeah, Mr. Roy. Okay, so uh, the the next steps, yeah. Please make sure to listen carefully to the audio files, yeah, guys, because the audio files will only play it once, so you don't have the second chance, yeah. If you skip. Uh, the dialect, you will not have the second chance yeah, to, to know uh, what have been said before. And this is also important yeah, to focus, to focus when you are doing the task. Uh, well, of course, you know that the listening task is the, uh, in, is the first task, yeah? is the first task uh, in the IELTS test. Well, actually, it depends on uh, the schedule. Yeah? Kadang -kadang ada yang dikasih, uh, speaking task-nya itu before uh, listening, reading, and writing. Tapi kadang ada juga yang speaking yang ditaruh di belakang. Jadi sebenarnya tergantung sih. Tapi dari listening, reading, and writing, of course listening will be the first one. Yeah? And then if you can decide between two answers, yeah, uh, just mark both options and decide later. Because you will be given uh, 10 minutes, yeah, especially for those who are going to take paper-based task, uh, you will be given 10 minutes to review, yeah, to to also transfer your answers, yeah, karena uh, biasanya uh, menuliskan tulisan, menuliskan jawaban itu di lembar soal dulu. Kemudian, uh, within additional time of 10 minutes, we can transfer the answers, and then we can also review, yeah, review our, our answers. Uh, dan di waktu itu, kita bisa kembali, we can get back to the numbers that we are not so sure. Ya, kita bisa balik lagi ke nomor-nomor uh, yang kita masih ragu, lalu kita bisa uh, menentukan jawabannya ya di waktu tersebut. And then uh, the last but not the least ya, always check your spelling and write the answers using capital letters ya. Not only in uh, listening but also in reading ya, in reading uh, task ya. Uh, the spelling is very important guys because even though your you actually know the answer, but if you misspell, yeah, if you make uh, spelling mistakes, your answer will be considered wrong. So yes, please uh, be careful with the spelling. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Yeah, the, uh, those are the practical tips that you need to uh, put into practice. Yeah, when you are taking the task or when you are practicing IELTS listening task. Now we have uh, what is it? Part one. Yeah. Uh, the type of question here is not completion, yeah, not completion. Jadi di sini we need to complete some blank, yeah, fill some blank in the notes, yeah. And please be careful about the uh, instruction, yeah, guys, yeah. Ini ya, yeah, one word and or a number, yeah. Jadi bisa satu kata dikombinasikan dengan uh, satu angka atau satu kata saja atau satu angka saja, ya. Yeah. Okay. So yes, please uh, pay attention to the instruction. So now I will play the audio files. Uh, please just let me know, yeah, if the voice is uh, still not clear. If you want to, uh, if you want me to turn up the volume, just uh, let me know, yeah. Okay. Okay. Hi, Alex. It's Martha Kleins here. Is it clear enough, guys, or do I need to uh, turn up the volume? It's clear. Clear? Okay, Miss Ote, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll play a game. Hi, Alex. It's Martha Kleins here. James White gave me your number. I hope you don't mind me calling you. Of course not. How are you, Martha? Good, thanks. I'm ringing because I need a bit of advice. Oh yeah, what about? The training you did at JPNW a few years ago. I'm applying for the same thing. Oh right, yes, I did mine in 2014. Best thing I ever did, I'm still working there. Really? What are you doing? Well, now I work in the services department, but I did my initial training in finance. I stayed there for the first two years and then moved to where I am now. That's the same department I'm applying. So yes, for question number one, we need to identify uh, which department where Alex did his training. 
So would you like to share your answer in the chat box, guys, for question number one, yeah, for warming up? Okay. Aduh, siapa ini Mr. Bobby? Wow, Mr. Bobby have already has already shared his answers, yeah, for the entire part of uh, this section, yeah. Oh my God, thank you so much, Mr. Bobby. Yeah, we are going to uh, check whether your answers are all correct, yeah, Mr. Bobby. Thank you, Mr. Bobby. And then, yeah, thank you, Mr. Chandra, Miss Indri. Great, yeah, finance, yeah, finance. Good, good. Okay, I will uh, wait, replay it first, yeah. Well, now I work in the customer services department, but I did my initial training in finance. I stayed there for the first two years. So yes, uh, currently he's working for uh, customer services uh, department, yeah, but he did initial training in finance, yeah, in, uh, in the finance department, yeah. So the answer is finance, yeah, not uh, customer services. Good, yeah, please don't forget to use capital letters. So that's uh, for the warming up. As usual, I will give you some time yeah, to share your answers. I will give you uh, maybe um, two minutes, yeah, one minute or two, yeah, to write down your answer starting from question number two until seven, yeah, number two, question number two until seven. Okay. Don't forget to use capital letters and be careful with the spelling. Okay, thank you so much, Miss Elena. Yeah. Oh, okay, thank you, Miss. Are you okay, Mr. Refi? Yeah. Oh, Miss Oti also has shared his answers. Yeah, for this part. Yeah. Dari nomor satu sampai nomor tujuh dulu ya, guys. Yeah. But thank you so much, Miss Oti and Mr. Bobby. Yeah. Okay, Mr. Nasir, great. Okay, good. Let's don't forget to use yeah capital letters. Great. Okay, we're waiting for you to write down your answers. Let's listen together to the audio files, yeah? And then move to where I am now. That's the same department I'm applying for. Did you enjoy it? Uh, I was pretty nervous to begin with. I didn't do well in my exams at school, and I was really worried because I failed maths. But it didn't actually matter because I did lots of courses on the job. So, uh, sorry, I will type down the answer for question number one first, yeah? Finance. Finance. And then... So the answer for question number two is math, yeah? yeah. Math. Good, yes, correct. So who who's speaking? Who is uh, who speaking just now? Thank you so much, yeah? Yeah. Sebentar, saya ulang bentar, ya. Did you enjoy it? Uh, I was pretty nervous to begin with. I didn't do well in my exams at school, and I was really worried because I failed math. But it didn't actually matter. Yeah, because I failed math. Yeah, when uh, when Alex uh, failed math, it means yeah, meaning or in other words, he didn't have a qualification from school in math. Yeah, because he failed the subject. So the answer is math. Yeah, M M A T H. Yeah, math. Okay, math. Yeah, great. Yeah. So I think most of you got correct. Yeah. Got the answer correct for question number two. Okay, let's listen to question number three. Because I did lots of courses on the job. Did you get a diploma at the end of your trainee period? I'm hoping to do the one in business skills. Yes, that sounds good. I took the one on IT skills, but I wish I'd done that one instead. Okay. Okay, so this is like, uh, what is it, uh, Alex? Ha, had some wishes yeah that he should have uh, should have the diploma in blah 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 so which uh, diploma or which subject was he referring to it or business yes business yeah because even though alex did did what is it like uh, take the courses in it skills yeah but he he wished he could have done the the one yeah that one that one is referring to business skills that mentioned previously by by uh martha yeah martha okay okay i will repeat again yeah just once okay with i didn't do well in my exams at school and i was really worried because i failed maths but it didn't actually matter because i did lots of courses on the job did you get a diploma at the end of your trainee period i'm hoping to do the one in business skills Yes, that sounds good. I took the one on IT skills, but I wish I'd done that one instead. 
Yeah. Okay. I wish I had done in that one. Yeah. In that one. That one was referring to business. Yeah. Business skills. Okay. Business. Okay. Yeah. Because one word only. One word only and or a number. Yeah. Business. Great. Yeah. Double S. Yeah. In the end. Great. Yeah. Mr. Ipim. Miss Mutira. Yes. Great. Mr. Chandra. Mr. Thomas. Yeah. And everyone else who has already shared your answer. Yeah. Business. Great. Okay. Next one. Hey, that's good to know. Um, what about the other trainees? How did you get on with them? There were about 20 of us who started at the same time, and we were all around the same age. I was 18, and there was only one person younger than me who was 17. The rest were between 18 and 20. Okay, so he was 18, yeah? And there was only one. There was only one who was younger. He is 17, yeah? I mean, he was 17. Okay, so 17. Yes, correct, yeah, 17. Thank you, Miss Indri, Mr. Tagar, Mr. Chandra, Mr. Thomas. Yes, you can use number, yeah, number or word. So you can either write like this, wait, 17 like this, yeah? Or you can use number, 17, yeah? Karena hanya satu yang lebih muda dari dia, ya. Alex was 18 years at the time, 18 years at the time, and only one was younger than him. He was 17. So the youngest trainee is was 17, yeah, 17 years old. Okay. I made some good friends. I've had lots of good things about the training at JPNW. It seems like there are a lot of opportunities there. Yeah, definitely. Because of its size, you can work in loads of different areas within the organization. What about pay? I know you get a lower minimum wage than regular employees. That's right, which isn't great. But you get the same number of days holiday as everyone else. And okay. the pay goes up massively. If we have the same number of... Ini harus hati-hati ya, karena we need to be careful with the use of us. Yeah? Us. Uh, do we need to use us or not? Yeah, in the end of the word. Yeah, actually, Alex say, okay, again, yeah, please pay close attention to the way Alex pronounced the words. Yeah, lots of good things about the training at JPNW. It seems like there are a lot of opportunities there. Yeah, definitely. Because of its size, you can work in loads of different areas within the organization. What about pay? I know you get a lower minimum wage than regular employees. That's right, which isn't great. But you get the same number of days holiday as everyone else. We get the same number of days holiday, yeah? Actually, Alex said like this, guys. I will write it down, yeah? Wait, wait. The same number, yeah? The same number of days holiday like this so it's like uh, possessive ya maksudnya kayak ini tuh jadi days holiday kayak gini jadi sebenarnya holidaynya without us ya holiday aja asnya itu hanya ke days but uh, sometimes i will uh, also uh, what is it refer to the answer keys from the cambridge ielts task book ya yeah? uh, for those who already answer with us, you are lucky this time because uh, the task creator say that uh, Sometimes it can be considered as alternative uh, answer, yeah. So for those who answer with us, it's okay, yeah. But actually, if we stick to the word that was uh, mentioned by the speaker, actually it's without us, yeah. Holiday aja, nggak pakai us, yeah. The same number, yeah. Holiday, sorry. Holiday, okay. And also uh, for those who might uh, still find it difficult to look for the information that you need to, uh, what is it, cache yeah, from the audio files, uh, that's why you need to read the question first. Yeah? Seperti ini, misalnya nomor lima, trainee receive the same amount. So we need to find the synonyms, synonyms yeah, or the paraphrase, paraphrase of uh, same amount. Yeah? Same amount in the audio files, it's similar to the same number. The same number, yeah. Okay, so uh, paraphrasing techniques are not only found in writing and speaking, but also in listening and reading in guys, yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Those who uh, answer with holidays with us are lucky, yeah, this time, yeah. But please be careful next time, yeah, guys, yeah. Please stick to the word that uh, used by the speaker. 
Okay, next one. Oh yeah, uh, please do, don't be hesitant. Yeah, do not hesitate to raise your hand or uh, what is it like? Just uh, interrupt me if you have any question. Yeah, guys. Yeah. Okay. Lanjut lagi. Sorry, tadi kepencet. Test four. Sorry, guys. Wait, wait, wait. You will hear for the first two years and then move to where I am. Good things about the training at JPNW. It seems like there are a lot of time in college. Yes, one day. The year you gained so much confidence. You're right, that's the most useful part about it. There's a lot of variety too. You're given lots of different things to do. I enjoyed it all. I didn't even mind the studying. Do you have to spend any time in college? Yes, one day each month. So you get... Yes, one day each month, yeah? Synonymous with one day per month. So he need... Uh, did he need to go to blah, 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 yeah? The question was referring to the one asked by Marta, yeah? Marta nanya seperti ini. I enjoyed it all. I didn't even mind the studying. Do you have to spend any time in college? Yeah. yeah. Did you have to spend any time in college, yeah? And he said, yes, one day each month. Yes, one day each month. So trainees go to college, yeah, college. Yes, great, yeah, Mr. Roy, thank you so much. Miss Raffi, Miss Ihda, yes, great, yeah, Mr. Thomas, college, Miss Mutiara also, yeah. Okay, thank you so much, guys, college. Okay, next one. So you get lots of support from both your tutor and your manager. Oh, that's good. And um, the company is easy to get to, isn't it? Yes, it's very close to the train station, so the location's a real advantage. Okay, so blah 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 is the real advantage. Advantage, yeah. Advantage ini uh, referring to convenient, sama, yeah. Uh, kelebihan, kenyamanan, nyaman gitu. Apa yang nyaman? Apa yang nyaman? Yes, great. Location, yeah, guys, yeah. Location, Mr. Nasir, correct. Okay, again, yeah. I will replay it for you. Manager. Oh, that's good. And um, the company is easy to get to, isn't it? Yes, it's very close to the train station. So the location's a real advantage. It's a real advantage. The location is the real a real advantage, yeah? So the company is in a convenient location. Yeah, location. Great, okay. So now uh, you need to share your answer, yeah? For question number eight until... 10, yeah? This is about the advice for interview, yeah? Coming from Alex, yeah? Okay, I will give you a minute to write down your answer from question number eight until 10, yeah? Okay. Okay, thank you so much, Miss Mutiara, Mr. Maskur, Mr. Janda, yeah? And then Mr. Nasir, okay, great. Okay, let's uh, check later, yeah? Mr. Nasir, yeah, about the answer. Anyone else, guys? Um, if I'm not mistaken, Mr. Bobby and Miss Oti have already answered, yeah, in the uh, in the beginning of our session, yeah. Okay, thank you so much. And then, okay, Mr. Thomas, yeah, great. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you so much, Mr. Indri and Mr. Ayu. Okay, while waiting for an, anyone else to share your answer, I will play the audio files again, yeah. Before you hear the rest okay, of the phone uh, conversation. Have you got a date for your interview yet? Yes, it's on the 23rd of this month. So long as you're well prepared, there's nothing to worry about. Everyone's very friendly. I am not sure what I should wear. What do you think? Nothing too casual, like jeans, for example. If okay. Nothing too casual like jeans for example so actually the thing that mentioned yeah the thing mentioned by alex yeah it's not uh, something casual like jeans yeah so the answer is actually jeans not casual yeah uh, so we can also what is it predict or guess the answer by looking at the question yeah guys yeah for example like this don't wear uh, jangan, uh, jangan memakai. of course the question uh, the answer will be noun yeah bukan Adjective, yeah. Casual is adjective, yeah. Santai, pakaian santai. So the answer is actually jeans, yeah. Jeans. Okay. 
Okay, I will take a look at your first, uh, your answers. Yes, great, Mr. Roy. Yeah, thank you so much, Miss Elena and Miss Ida. Okay, great. Yeah, jeans. Yeah. Okay. So you've got a nice jacket. Wear that with a skirt or trousers. Okay, thanks. Any other tips? Um. Well, I know it's really obvious, but arrive in plenty of time. They hate people who are late. So make sure. Arrive in plenty of time. They hate people who are, who are late yeah great yeah miss ida miss okay miss elena yes great yeah mr chandra miss roy great yeah so don't be late yeah so uh, in this part we need to make inference about the dialogue uh, between alex and marta yeah because alex said that uh she's she had to i mean she should uh, arrive in plenty of time because they had people who are late meaning that don't be late yeah so the, this is the conclusion yeah, from the dialogue. Don't be late. Okay. Well, you know exactly where you have to get to. And one other useful piece of advice my manager told me before I had the interview for this job is to smile. Even if you feel terrified, it makes people respond better to you. <laughs> okay. Is to one of the useful, yeah, one of the use, uh, useful advice yeah, he got from the manager, if I'm not mistaken to smile even though you you are feeling terrified yeah okay i will play again once for you wait exactly where you have to get to and one other useful piece of advice my manager told me before i had the interview for this job is to smile even if you feel terrified it makes people respond better to you <laughs> i'll have to practice doing that in the mirror <laughs> okay so make sure you smile yeah okay that's for part one, we are going to move on to part two. Do you have any question about part one, guys, before proceeding to the next part? Don't forget about the instruction, yeah? So make sure that you use uh, you use uh, the word, I mean, you answer uh, following the instruction given in each part. And also, please be careful with the spelling. Okay, next one, yeah, kita lanjut ke part two. Uh, this time we have multiple choices yeah multiple choice so this is a different type of question here yeah? multiple choices okay okay uh, uh, i will what is it okay maybe i will play once yeah for you in the beginning of uh, this part yeah to warming up uh, for a uh, warming up yeah wait how do you do know something wait. section two you will hear a woman called Annie who works at the... Welcome to the Snow Centre. My name's Annie. I hope you enjoyed the bus trip from the airport. We've certainly got plenty of snow today. Well, you've come to New Zealand's premier snow and ski centre and we've a whole load of activities for you during your week here. Most visitors come here for the cross-country skiing where you're on fairly flat ground for most of the time rather than going down steep mountainsides. There are marked trails, but you can also leave these and go off on your own. And that's an experience not to be missed. You can go at your own speed. It's great aerobic exercise if you really push yourself. Or if you prefer, you can just glide gently along and enjoy the beautiful scenery. Okay, so that's the information given by Annie yeah? uh, about the recommendation when the visitors doing cross country skiing. So best on the audio files, the visitors, the visitors should. So let's uh, uh, evaluate each uh, possible options. Yeah, the A, yeah, uh, A, get away from the regular trails. Okay, we will check later. Yeah, so B, stop to enjoy views of the scenery. Uh, Any in did mention about uh, the uh, the opportunity to enjoy the beautiful scenery there. Yeah, but uh, he, I mean she. Uh, I didn't actually uh, tell uh, the visitors to stop yeah Nggak, bukan untuk berhenti tapi while gently while gently gliding sambil pelan-pelan ya main ski mereka bisa menikmati pemandangan jadi enggak bukan berhenti ya tapi pelan-pelan begitu and then go so this is not the, the answer yeah be not the answer and then go at a slow speed at the beginning no yeah because uh, Annie doesn't mention specifically uh, about the speed uh, that the visitor should should uh, perform yeah when uh, skiing yeah when when doing cross country skiing so not B and C but how about A get away from the regular tracks 
Yes, this is actually the answer there yeah? because Annie said that there are marked trails, but you can actually get away from it. Yeah, sebenarnya bisa aja nggak apa-apa nggak harus ke situ karena uh, that way you can enjoy ya yeah? bisa menikmati dan itu adalah pengalaman yang it's not uh, it's not an experience that you uh, pokoknya jangan jangan terlewatkan gitu ya. Coba kita dengarkan lagi ya sekali lagi ya. Just glide gently along and enjoy the beautiful scenery. There are marked trails, but you can also leave these and go off on your own. And that's an experience not to be missed. Yeah, that's the experience not to be missed. Yeah. Jadi bisa aja, nggak apa-apa lewat, nggak apa-apa kalau nggak lewat marked trails. Yeah. Marked trails are similar or synonymous with regular trails. So the answer for question 11 is A. Yeah. Thank you so much, Miss Oti. Okay, so for this one, yeah. I will give you two minutes, guys, yeah, to write down your answer for question number 12 until 16, yeah. I will give you two minutes, yeah. Okay, while waiting for you, I will wait. Change the annotation first, wait, yeah. Yeah, untuk nomor 11A, yeah. Okay, I'm still waiting for you guys, aside from Miss Mati, okay. Okay, get away from the regular trace, yeah? trails for question number 11. Okay, well, waiting for you. Okay, thank you so much. I will check the, okay, thank you, Miss Indri. Yeah, B-A-C-A-B, -A -A okay. Oh, okay, good, thank you so much. Okay, great. Oh, Miss Oti also complimented the pre her previous answers, yeah, by adding, Answer from question number 14 until 16. Okay, great. Thank you so much, Miss Indra and Miss Oti. Okay, for anyone who hasn't shared your answer, let's uh, uh, listen to the audio first, and then you can also write down your answer yeah, later in the chat box. Okay, let's listen again. You can go at your own speed. It's great aerobic exercise if you really push yourself. Or if you prefer, you can just glide gently along and enjoy the beautiful scenery. This afternoon, you'll be going on a dog sled trip. You may have seen our dogs on TV recently, racing in the Winter Sled Festival. If you want, you can have your own team for the afternoon and learn how to drive them, following behind our leader on the trail. Or if you prefer, you can just sit back in the sled and enjoy the ride as a passenger. At the weekend, we have the team relay. Okay, so that's the information, yeah? Uh, well, of course, uh, this is quite difficult, yeah, because the information are in form of several sentences, yeah. Uh, berbeda dengan yang sebelumnya, ini lebih panjang, ya, informasinya. So, that's why we need to be extra careful. Dan inilah bagian di mana teman-teman perlu membaca dulu, uh, membaca dulu questions-nya, ya, sebelum uh, mendengarkan audio files-nya. Contohnya, misalnya, seperti ini, question 12, ya. But does Annie tell the group about this afternoon dog sled trip, ya? Yeah? So, we need to, uh, for example... Uh, sebentar, saya pakai annotate dulu ya. For example, we need to uh, highlight or maybe like underline using your pencil ya. Dog sled trip ya. Yeah. And then uh, let's evaluate each uh, option ya. Yeah. Hey, those who want to can take part in a race. No ya, yeah, because uh, there is no mention uh, of race ya. Yeah. Uh, any only uh, told them about uh, dog sled trip but not the race ya. Yeah. Bukan tentang race-nya. Uh, memang sih ada tentang... Um, apa di awal itu kayak ini bilang kalau mungkin kalian sudah pernah lihat anjing-anjing kami racing in the television gitu tapi ini bukan tentang uh, apakah whether they can take part ya yeah, or participate in the race ya yeah. and then uh, C one group member will be chosen to lead the trail no ya yeah, there is no mention about it ya yeah. uh, tidak ada informasi bahwa uh, one of the group members will be chosen to lead the trail ya yeah. so actually the answer is B anyone has the chance to drive a team of dogs, ya. Yeah? Karena itu uh, informasi yang ada yang bisa kita tangkap adalah B, ya. Yeah? Do you want me to replay the audio files again? Or do you want me to move on to the next one? Ada yang mau denger dulu? Mungkin, Miss, I want to uh, listen again. For example, I'm not so sure about the answers, for example. Do you want me to replay again, please? Oke, okay, ya. Yeah. Jadi jawabannya B, ya. Yeah. Oke. Okay. Terus, oke, okay, karena nggak ada, kita lanjut, ya. Yeah. Ke yang se- file selanjutnya wait 
Tunggu dulu saya. Okay. And you're all welcome to join in. We have a local school coming along and a lot of the teachers are taking part. Welcome to join in. We have a team relay event and you're all welcome to join in. Sorry guys, I think I missed some parts of the information, right? They're on the trail. Or if you prefer, you can just sit back in the sled and enjoy the ride as a passenger. At the weekend, we have the team relay event and you're all welcome to join in. We have a local school coming along and a lot of the teachers are taking part too. Participation rather than winning is the main focus and there's a medal for everyone who takes part. Participants are in teams of two to four and each team must complete four laps of the course. Okay, so those are the information relevant to question number 13, yeah? So anyone wants to volunteer to share your answers, guys, and also explain the reason why you choose uh, the, the option. Do you want to volunteer? Okay. Now I will try to point you, yeah? Apa -apa ya, sambil belajar. Kita belajar. Okay, maybe could you please answer or share your answer, Miss Indri, for question number 13. So what does Annie say about the team relay event? Okay, Miss Indri, are you there? Okay, hello? Okay, not papa, yeah. Uh, okay, I will, I will explain it for you. So all participants receive a medal. Yeah, actually, this is the answer, yeah, because everyone's, uh, there is a medal for everyone's taking part, yeah, in the relay event. And B, the course is four kilometer long, no, yeah, there's no information about the distance of the relay event. Instead, the speaker say that it will uh, be four laps, yeah, four laps, not four kilometer. And then each team is led by a teacher, no, yeah, even though teacher was being mentioned, but uh, the speaker only say that teacher will take parts. Yeah, uh, mereka akan berpartisipasi, tapi tidak ada informasi apakah setiap tim itu akan dipimpin oleh teacher. So the answer is actually A, yeah, because there is a medal for anyone participating in the team relay event. Okay, A, hey, yeah, jawabannya ya. Okay, so for question number 14, Let's take a look at the question first, yeah? Uh, this one, okay, I will use spotlight. On the snowshoe trip, the visitors will blah, 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 yeah? And then you can see here, there are three options, yeah? Visit an old gold mine, learn about unusual flowers, or climb to the top of mountain. So after reading this uh, available option, yeah? Please listen to the, uh, listen to the audio first and uh, decide which one is the correct answer, yeah? Okay. Section two. You will hear a woman called Ab Here's a medal for everyone who takes part. Okay. Participants are in teams of two to four, and each team must complete four laps of the course. Four laps, okay. For your final expedition, you'll head off to Mount Frenna, wearing a pair of special snowshoes, which allow you to walk on top of the snow. This is an area where miners once searched for gold, though there are very few traces of their work left now. When the snow melts in summer, the mountain slopes are carpeted in flowers and plants. It's a long ascent, though not too steep, and walkers generally take a couple of days to get to the summit and return. Okay, so this is quite difficult, yeah, because the speaker use higher higher level of vocabulary, yeah, like asan, yeah, asan itu seperti hike the mountain, yeah, and then carpeted, carpeted, uh, so some words are quite, uh, what is advanced, yeah, so I will take a look at your uh, answers, yeah, guys, for those who have already shared your answer in the chat box, number, number two, for ten, yeah, for ten, so Miss Indri answer with C, okay, and then Miss Oti answer with C, okay, the same, yeah, okay, Miss Elena also C, and Miss I, oh, Miss Ayu have, has an answer for question number 14, yeah, but it's okay, thank you, Miss Ayu, yeah, and then, yeah, uh, I will, uh, let's evaluate each option, yeah, first, visit an old gold mine, well, 
actually any indeed mention about the mine yeah uh, uh, but there is no information whether they will visit it uh, and if apa bahkan and itu bilang bahwa, bahwa there were few uh, few traces ya hanya sedikit jejak dari uh, gold mine itu jadi sebenarnya enggak ya enggak visit an old gold mine and then learn about unusual flowers uh, it is true that uh, any said about flowers yeah when when the summer yeah ketika summer comes yeah and the part of the mountain are carpeted with flowers yeah carpeted with flowers jadi dilapisi apa sih kayak istilahnya diselimuti dengan bunga-bunga ya but it's only a fact yeah a fact that uh, mentioned the a fact that was mentioned by the speaker but there is no information whether the visitor will learn about them yeah about unusual flowers nggak ada informasi tentang ini kemudian si climb to the top of a mountain actually even though you might not catch yeah the words asan yeah karena memang asan itu not to frequently use ya yeah? when when describing about mountain climbing asan itu mungkin jarang gitu dipakai tapi teman-teman juga di akhir uh, dialect sebenarnya mendengar summit ya yeah? summit uh, reach the summit summit di sini maksudnya ada the top of mountain ya yeah? so the answer is C ya yeah, guys ya yeah? oke okay. do you have any question about this guys because uh, I think this is quite uh, what is it challenging ya yeah? to identify the answer So the answer is C, yeah. Thank you so much for those who have already shared your answer. Okay, uh, next let's listen to question number 15, yeah. Miss Mo. Yes, silakan. Buat yang vocabnya yang advance tadi boleh nggak ditulisin? Boleh, boleh. Ini Miss Mutiara atau siapa ya? Saya nggak bisa lihat namanya, mohon maaf. Iya, yeah, Miss Mutiara. Miss Mutiara, oke. Okay. Thank you so much, Miss Mutiara. I will write it for you. Wait ya, sebentar masih nurunin ini nih, Miss. <laughs> wait, wait. Oke, okay, nanti saya bisa... Uh, I will share the answer keys uh, with you ya, yeah. later ya, wait. Jadi, asen tadi kayak gini, Miss. Sebentar. Thank you so much for... Uh, what is it? Asking this question ya, yeah, Miss. Oke, okay. 16. Asen ya. Yeah. Jadi, sorry. Seperti ini, Miss Kasan. Oh, masih kaps, ya. Kasan, ya. And then there, there is also carpeted. Carpeted, ya. Ini. Terus selalu tadi ada summit juga, ya. So, asan itu sama dengan uh, mountain climbing. Hike a mountain, ya. Hike a mountain. And then carpeted tadi ya, diselimuti, gitu. Kemudian summit, ya. I think for those who have been familiar with mountain climbing, of course you know about summit, ya. Uh, is similar with the top of mountain. But asan, it's quite uh, rare, ya. To be found in uh, articles related to mountains. Jadi seperti ini ya, Miss Mutiara, ya. I hope I have answered your question, ya, Miss, ya. Thank you so much, Miss uh, Mutiara. Okay. okay, thank you, Miss Mutiara. Okay, let's listen again, ya, for question number 15. about the accommodation yeah the cost of accommodation in the mountain how food yeah includes blah 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 okay let's listen the information relevant to question number 15 you'll spend the night in our hut halfway up the mountain that's included in your package for the stay it's got cooking facilities firewood and water for drinking for washing we recommend you use melted snow though to conserve supplies We can take your luggage up on our snowmobile for you for just $10 a person. The hut has cooking facilities, so you can make a hot meal in the evening and morning, but you need to take your own food. Okay, so I think this is quite clear, yeah? Even though there were several sentences uh, spoken yeah, by, by, the, by the speaker, by Annie, but it's quite clear, yeah? The cost of accommodation in a mountain hut includes... Okay, let's look at B, transport of visitors luggage. No, yeah, because uh, Annie mentioned that uh, they can transport uh, the visitor luggage for only for $10, meaning that it that it's not included in the cost of accommodation, ya, karena harus tambah bayar lagi, gitu. Kemudian cook meals, makanan yang sudah matang, ya. No, yeah, because uh, even though the, the accommodation, I mean the cost of accommodation covering cooking cooking what is it cooking utensil ya cooking apa ya cooking equipments ya uh, tapi mereka tetap harus bawa makanan sendiri ya mereka tetap harus bawa makanan sendiri meaning that they need to cook by on on their own ya jadi bukan cook meals ya uh, so the answer is a ya a supply of drinking water because 
in the beginning of uh, the sentences uh, mentioned by Ani ya. Nah, jadi uh, ha, apa akomodasi itu include uh, firewood ya, yeah, firewood and then also water supply ya yeah, for drinking. And also cooking, cooking utensils. Yeah. I, I'm sorry, I, I forgot the exact term yeah, used by the speaker. But yes, the answer is A. I, I assume that that someone wants to ask something. Kayaknya bosen ada yang mau nanya, ada kresek-kresek. Nah ya, yeah. okay. Okay, let's uh, move on to the next question, ya. Yeah. Number 16. So this is about the storm. We are going to listen information about storm, yeah? Okay. Wait, guys. Section two. You will hear a woman called Annie who works. We do have an emergency locator beacon. Okay, this one, wait. In that case, stay in the house. Okay, wait, yeah, sebentar, sebentar. So you can make a hot meal in the evening and morning, but you need to take your own food. The weather on Mount Frenna can be very stormy. In that case, stay in the hut. Generally, the storms don't last long. Don't stress about getting back here to the centre in time to catch the airport bus. They'll probably not be running anyway. We do have an emergency locator beacon in the hut, but only use that if it's a real emergency, like if someone's ill or injured. Okay, that's uh, the, the, what is it, the information, yeah, related to question number 16. So which one, which one uh, that uh, suggested by Ani? Okay, I will take a look at your questions, yeah. Okay, Miss Elena, B, B, okay, and then, okay, Miss Ote also B, Mr. Miss Indri, B. Okay, so yes, uh, the, those three participants answer with B, yeah. Okay. Uh, contact the bus driver. No, ya, yeah, because uh, Ani said that they mereka nggak perlu buru-buru uh, dan ha, apa mengejar bis ya, karena they will not be running anyway gitu. Karena bisnya itu nggak akan jalan juga ketika uh, storm ya, ketika badai. Gitu. Kemudian use the emergency locator beacon. Emergency, emergency locator beacon is indeed available in the hut, ya. Yeah, but Ani said that they should use it only when. Uh, when and when there is an emergency situation ya yeah, like someone being ill ya yeah, uh, seperti itu jadi meskipun ada tapi bukan ini yang disarankan sebenarnya yang disarankan adalah memang be ya yeah, wait until the weather improves uh, in the uh, what is in the beginning of the uh, statement ya yeah, and he said that they need to stay in the hut ya yeah, karena stormnya juga nggak bakal lama because the storm doesn't last long okay Okay, that's it yeah for question number 16 do you have any question guys about this part before we proceed to uh, discuss the next one ada yang mau tanya okay memang multiple choice harus hati-hati ya kita harus uh, sebisa mungkin dalam waktu setengah menit itu baca pertanyaannya dan juga jika memungkinkan uh, scan ya uh, read as fast as possible the options okay okay let's move on to Uh, the next one ya yeah. kita punya matching. Oke, okay. kalau matching di sini you will have a list of options here ya. Yeah. Kita punya ada 6 gitu. Tentu saja tidak semuanya terpakai karena questionnya hanya ada 4. Nah, di bagian ini teman-teman, sambil while while listening to audio files, you also need to take a look at each options ya. Yeah. Misalnya kalau oh, ternyata bukan tentang ini, langsung aja cross. Langsung aja cross misalnya atau uh, bukan cross mungkin uh, dilewatin aja berarti bukan ini gitu. Then if you have already decided, oh, this one is uh, is actually the answer for question number 17, uh, please use apa ya, mungkin bisa di checklist gitu ya, karena biar di nomor 18 kita tidak perlu lagi melihat opsi itu. Oke, okay? okay, mari kita dengarkan bersama. 449, oke, okay, 449. Oke. Okay. Now. Let me tell you something about the different ski trails you can follow during your stay here. Highland trails directly accessible from where we are now. This trail has been designed to give first timers an experience they'll enjoy regardless of their age or skill. But it's also ideal for experts to practice their technique. Then there's pine trail. Okay, so that's the description about Highland trail, yeah? So which one is 
is what is suitable with the description of question number 17. And when wants to predict, okay. Miss Indri B, Miss Oti B. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you, Miss Oti, for sharing your answers here for the entire part of this one. Yeah, kita lihat, it is suitable for all abilities. Yes, correct, yeah, because uh, Annie said that Highland, Highland Trail is uh, suitable for first-timers, yeah, but it's also ideal for experts, yeah, meaning that it is indeed suitable for all abilities. Yeah, benar, ya, jawabannya B. Okay, correct. Okay, capital letters, yeah. Okay, I will take a look at chat box. Okay, good. Thank you, Miss Indri, Mr. Bobby, and Mr. Chandra. Okay, mari dengarkan bersama lagi ya. We are going to listen some ex explanation about pine trail. Pine trail, yeah. If you're nervous about ski, okay, I will. Yeah. Then there's pine trail. If you're nervous about skiing, leave this one to the experts. You follow a steep valley looking right down on the river below. Scary. But if you fully master the techniques for hills, it's great fun. Okay, so those are some expression, yeah, some explanation about pine trail. Which one? Which inform which one uh, is suitable to describe pine trail? Yeah. Bye, Amana. Okay. Miss Indri D, Miss Ayu D, and then Miss Oti D juga, okay. Okay, great. Okay, let's look at D. Yeah. It demands a lot of skill. Okay, yes, actually, there is an explanation which is interesting because Annie, Annie said that uh, just leave it to the experts. Yeah, just leave it to the experts. And the, in the end of the statements, she also mentioned that if you, you, you have fully mastered, if you have fully mastered the techniques, yeah, it will be a great fun. Yeah, jadi kalau hanya, hanya menyenangkan kalau kamu sudah menguasai dengan penuh gitu dan sebenarnya yang paling uh, yang paling menentukan ya a deciding factor is that leave it to the expert meaning that it demands a lot of skill so yes the answer is D ya D oke okay, mari kita dengarkan kembali ya audio filesnya stony trails a good choice once you've got a general idea of the basics there are one or two tricky sections but nothing too challenging there's a shelter halfway where you can sit and take a break and enjoy the afternoon sunshine. Okay, this is quite easy, yeah, because there is information about some place, yeah, some place in Stony Trail to take a break and enjoy the sunset, yeah, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. Okay, so the answer is, Mr. Okay. Okay, this is quite interesting because some of you have different answer, yeah. Okay, let's take a look at A and C, yeah. It involves crossing a river. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Mr. Thomas. Yeah, it actually indeed includes the information about river, yeah, river valley, sebenarnya, yeah. Tapi uh, poinnya itu sebenarnya it has a good place to stop and rest, yeah. Karena bukan crossing a river sebenarnya itu river valley, sir. Jadi kayak lembah sungai, bukan bunga, bukan sungainya sebenarnya ya, tapi lembah sungainya. Jadi kan bagian tanah-tanah di samping sungainya. Jadi this is not uh, the correct answer, yeah, but actually the correct one, yeah, is A, yeah, it has a good place to stop and rest, yeah, because Annie said that there is a place to take a break, uh, take a break and enjoy the sunshine, yeah, or sunset, yeah, so yes, the answer is A. Thank you so much, yeah, Mr. Thomas, for pointing this out, and thank you for Miss Indri, Miss Elena, and Miss Ayu, yes, correct answers from you, yeah, A. Okay, so Question number 20. And finally, loser's trail. This starts off following a gentle river valley, but the last part is quite exposed, so the snow conditions can be challenging. If it's snowing or windy, check with us before you set out to make sure the trail's open that day. Okay, so this is the information about loser's trail. So which one is suitable to describe this trail? Okay, I will take a look at the chat box. Miss Indri A E. Okay, Miss Indri E, and then Miss Oti tadi jawabnya E. And another. Okay, E yeah, Mr. Chandra and Miss Ayu. Okay, let's take a look at E. It may be closed in bad weather. Yes, correct. Yeah, because if it's snowing and windy, yeah, they they need to check with us. Yeah, check with the the apa ya, the organizer of the trip. Yeah, Annie dan uh, timnya gitu. Well, to check whether 
it's apa tuh namanya ah, tadi tuh tutup atau enggak gitu ya ketika uh, ketika hujan atau salju ya let's listen again ya yeah. once wait this is trail this starts off following a gentle river valley but the last part is quite exposed so the snow conditions can be challenging if it's snowing or windy check with us before you set out to make sure the trails open that day yeah to make sure that the trails open that day ya yeah? jadi mereka harus cek dulu karena ada kemungkinan ditutup ya it may be close in bad weather so the answer is indeed e ya yeah? thank you so much guys e okay okay i will check the chat box first okay thank you so much mr ipin and miss elena ya yeah? fortunately we only have four minutes left okay let's just get it done as as soon as possible i will give you a minute guys maybe to share your answer a minute or two yeah to share your answer for question number 21 until 26. Uh, this is about a dialect yeah in part three you will listen to a dialect between two people yeah they are discussing about nutrition nutritional information on food packaging uh, okay anyone okay sambil menunggu mari kita dengarkan ya karena we are running out of time Okay, Section three. You will hear two students. I still got loads to do for our report on nutritional food labels. Me too. What did you learn from doing the project about your own shopping habits? Well, I've always had to check labels for traces of peanuts in everything I eat because of my allergy. But beyond that, I've never really been concerned enough to check how healthy a product is. Okay, so that's Jack's attitude, yeah, towards nutritional food slabber before this project, yeah. Jack's mentioned that he usually read, yeah, because he needs to check the peanut traces, yeah, traces, karena dia punya alergi, yeah. But beyond that, uh, he said that he hadn't been concerned about reading reading the information ya. Jadi sebenarnya dia baca, dia baca, tapi bacanya itu tentang peanut trace-nya ya, peanut ingredients-nya. Jadi jawabannya adalah Oh, thank you so much Miss Oti for sharing your answer ya. Yes, A ya. Jadi jawabannya A. Jadi sebenarnya baca tapi tidak semuanya gitu. Ya. Yeah. Oke. Okay. Okay. Kalau sih enggak ya, itu there were too complicated. There's no information ya. There is no mention of uh, nutritional food labels being Uh, difficult yeah, to read. Yeah? Okay. This project has actually taught me to read the labels much more carefully. I tended to believe claims on packaging like low in fat, but I now realize that the healthy yogurt I've bought for years is full of sugar and that it's actually quite high in calories. Mm. Ready meals are the work. Oke, okay, so that's the information from Alice ya. Tadi sudah cek attitude. Kalau Alice dia bilang, mari kita lihat. Oke, okay, thank you Miss Indri, Miss Indri C, and Miss Oti A eh, ya. Oke, okay, this is quite interesting because you have a different patterns of answer. Miss Ayu A, eh, oke, okay, mari kita lihat ya. Uh, she was too lazy to read food labels, no ya. There is no information whether she was too lazy or not ya yeah, when it comes to reading food labels. And she was only interested in the number of calories. Enggak juga ya, karena enggak, enggak ada informasi tentang ini. Jadi sebenarnya jawabannya A ya. She was unaware of what certain foods contain. If you uh, listen carefully, actually Alice mentioned a healthy yogurt. ya yeah, Healthy yogurt. So certain foods here, certain foods here, referring to healthy yogurt. She said that uh, uh, she tended to believe uh, what the food labels, yeah, uh, what what put on the label ya yeah. uh, dia kira beneran healthy padahal ternyata contains a lot of sugar and high in calorie jadi actually she was unaware ya yeah. she was unaware of what certain foods contain ya yeah. jadi certain foods di sini ke healthy yogurt ya yeah. okay i'm sorry because we only have one minute left maybe uh, let's listen to one one uh, question oh, yeah the last one yeah wait first Comparing the labels on supermarket pizzas was a real eye-opener. Did you have any idea how many calories they contain? I was amazed. Yes, because unless you read the label really carefully, you wouldn't know that the nutritional values given are for half a pizza. When most people eat the whole pizza. Not exactly transparent, is it? 
Not at all. Yeah. So this is quite interesting ya, karena ini juga tentang informasi gizi yang mungkin kita temukan di kehidupan nyata ya. So when discussing supermarket brands of pizza, Jack agrees with Alice that the list of ingredients is shocking, no ya, because we're not about ingredients, but about calorie ya sebenarnya, bukan bukan uh, komposisinya, tapi kalorinya yang sempat Jack mention. And then he will hesitate before buy, buying pizza again, oh ini ada semen red. But I expect it won't stop you from buying pizza. Probably not, no. Oke, okay, jadi enggak ya, dia tetap enggak akan berhenti membeli pizza, jadi bukan B. So, actually the answer is C, yeah, because the information, yeah, nutritional label on the pizza only mention the uh, values for half of pizza, whereas most people eat a whole of pizza. Jadi hanya informasi tentang setengah separuh pizza, padahal sebenarnya orang rata-rata uh, mem memakan semuanya gitu jadi harus dikalikan dua kan berarti ini informasinya tuh nggak transparan katanya Jack gitu uh, jadi ini uh, the nutritional level is misleading so the answer is C oke okay. thank you so much oh Mr uh, uh, Chandra answer for question number 20 ya yeah. so thank you so much Mr Chandra and Miss Ayu so that's the end of our class so sorry because we are not able to uh, discuss all ya yeah, all the assignments answer but Don't worry, I will still share the answer uh, with you yeah, on the Telegram group after this class ends. So before closing the class, this class, do you have any question regarding listening class? Ada yang benar semua atau mungkin ada yang uh, salah di bagian-bagian tertentu? It's okay yeah, because for uh, in the beginning of the task, yeah, uh, it's quite normal yeah, to get some parts of the task uh, incorrect ya yeah, karena memang kita perlu hati-hati dan kebetulan di assignment ini memang uh, cenderung cepat speakernya pertama cenderung cepat dan juga panjang there were long explanation coming from the speakers but it's okay as long as you keep practicing you will uh, finally be able yeah, to understand what they said in the audio files so that's it uh, for today's class guys yeah thank you so much for actively participating in this class thank you mr thank you, so yeah, mr. P, thank you so much thank you so much mr ipin miss aurora mr i miss ayu mr bobby miss elena miss emma miss Enda. yeah you're most welcome miss aurora yeah mr farhan thank you, yeah thank you Thank you, Miss and Indri, Miss Ina, Miss Mutiara, Miss Rahma, Miss Refi, Miss Mr. Roy, Mr. Tegar, Mr. Thomas. Okay, and I'm sorry for not being able to mention your name one by one. Yeah, thank you so much, guys. Have a nice uh, sleep. Yeah, good thank night. Thank you, everyone. Miss. Yeah, you're most welcome, Miss Ayu and Mr. Tegar. Ya, tadi, oh, Mr. Nasir. Okay, bye bye, guys. Bye bye. Bye.